we play the game. No more player timeouts. timeouts yeah. I'm sure Coach Yang Gia would have wanted nothing yeah. more than to draw up a play and win it with about Three. two seconds remaining, but that's not possible anymore. I see you, but oh, good oh, catch good by catch. Mokon, yeah? He thought that the athleticism of Hill, Hill would yeah, get I know. to it. Well, Toffee gets Warriors beat, but Mokon. By Mokon. Playing big. RJ Hazul for three. That yeah. goes in. Well, you know that it was drilled into their minds by Coach Jeffrey Carriasso. Another end one here coming up for Kenneth Tuffin. Like after they score, here comes Phoenix right away. Tuffin not even waiting for the play to be called, just attacks and scores. You know, they need a spark to get things going, to get, to get into the flow of their offense. To the corner, Perkins unmarked. Bang! They'll send it back out. Theo. Tuffin left open for three. Another wide open shot. But they can't trade baskets. Theo's going to hit another one. That's four threes. Watch the 48 season of the PBA Commissioner's Cup live in HD anytime, anywhere, and on any device around the world. They're going to use some clock here. Tuffin. We'll bring it closer. Basket and one opportunity. Nice flash coming from the weak side. Countering on the other end. Vodanovic fired up. Attacking Williams. Nothing. Meanwhile, yes. drains a long he's, bomb. He's actually playing a great game. I've seen him. They go back down to Vodanovic. Look, Perkins is reading that perfectly. Perkins has been all over the place here in the first quarter. Yeah, Vodanovic has to see him. I mean, he cannot allow him to go around you. And that's automatic. Yes, Tyler Thiel. Sure. You said it right there, Andre. Or either that, it hit, the, you know, it grazed the side of the rim. Tuffin, wide open corner. Three. That falls for Kenneth Tuffin. In favor of defense and rebounding. Eight seconds remaining. Perkins oh. inside. Tuffin! One other big play there. And the patience of Perkins. Waiting for the perfect time to get into Tuffin. Take a look at that. Tuffin trying to fake the screen, right? Yes, he, was, he, he just faked the screen on Winston. And yet he slipped. That was a nice play there on the part of Tuffin. Just like they drew it, drew it up on the bench. Good size crowd that we have here in San Jose, Batangas, including uh, XGO earlier. Yeah, we saw the bosses there. Yes, Raymark, Santiago. Tuffin puts it on the floor. Tuffin oh, all nice. the way to the cup. I was about to say, at the part when he impressed the bishop, but he misses. Such <laughs> a long bomb. Uh, over on the other side, Phoenix. That's an at the part already. Uh, check out already for Ken Tuffin. <laughs> There's Jay Will against C Stan. Four seconds to shoot. Jay Will with a hook shot, no good. Perkins picks it up, sends it over to Tuffin, up fake, and gets the. Here's Mokon. Over to Tuffin. Six seconds in the shot clock. And Jay Will gets away for the one handed jam. Looking for a teammate, sends it over to Perkins. Now with Jay Will. Tuffin gets rid of the defense, one step inside a three pointer, it's money. Eight points for Tuffin here in the third. And if uh, the, one of the traditions here of Phoenix is that they don't sit down until someone scores. So let's see at what point will they sit down. And he takes a little shots, but he's very effective, just like the good old names in Philippine basketball, like Hector Calvo. Tuffin, the drive, the finish. <laughs> here on the floor. Okay. They will show up whatever problem they have because they really want to play ball. Tuffin going all the way in to score two in this group. Dorit Soy Baguio has his report for us. Dorit, take it away. Paul and Coach Eric, a huge concern for Phoenix in the half is the disparity in the fast break points. And so a uh, huge uh, point of discussion for them in the second half is to hunker down on defense. A scene in the pack at North Court. Uh, so right now, San Miguel in the lead as Benny Boatwright draining the free throws. Great oh. find inside to JV Mofon. Wow. Sends it off to JV Mofon. Watch the flyby. Tuffin. Extra pass. Manganti. All the time in the world. Look at that very patient uh, ball movement. Where shines the brightest and which local contingent is able to support them more. Yes, the key in, in any conference, you know. Oh my goodness. I had to cut you off. 
with that quick reversal and ball movement. Oh, Kenneth Tuffin with the sidestep gets his own miss and two. All right, now early on in the first quarter, it's quite evident. Now. Jonathan Williams, he's looking around for options here. Goes to the corner. The pull up J, that's good. Obviously, he learned a lot when he was at Temple University. He knows how to play excellent basketball. Tough hit. That was a tough shot from yeah. Ken. That's called, hey, that last uh, air ball, that was a fluke. <laughs> shot clock winding down once again. Moko and launches and will come up short. It falls to Tuffin, though. But it was the bench, especially RJ and uh, JJ Alejandro, who did a lot of damage here in the beginning of the second quarter. Moko, nice handoff to Tuffin. Williams. Nice find there on the cutting Tuffin. Tuffin's gonna go all the way. How they want to attack Phoenix, especially uh, in, in those sets, because, you know, they think that he might be the weakest link defensively. As that's back-to-back -back three pointers, this time Williams kicks it out to Mohon. JV turns a corner, drives, swings it, tough in. Three, it's good for Kenneth, tough yeah. in. Williams sneaks in, finds JV, swings it out to tough in. Tough in attacks now, hangs in the air, gets the banger to go. That is obvious. Tough in, I love that play off the timeout by Phoenix, immediately finding the matchup of Chris Newsom in attacking him. He talked about it, they are number one in defense. Tuffin's gonna get away for two, though. That was a tough shot. I would say Magnolia played the defense very well with the way he lets his players shoot that three ball. Bay's not gonna challenge the pass straight to Tuffin. Backed up by the nine of Hazul. Mohan also has six. Four for Tio and Garcia with a three-point basket with three on you. Once again, we'd like to thank RG for all his insight. And getting away inside. Once again, Kenneth Duffin. Eric for the Magnolia Hot Shots. Coach Tito was quick to say that a defensive game is always going to be their strength. With regards to game one, he was quick to credit the young Phoenix team for disrupting Magnolia's production in the first half. The offense of Magnolia. Uh, we saw a while ago in the graphics we showed a free game as Kenneth Duffin goes in for two. I, I cannot emphasize, Coach. Got importante you. Good luck. Champa <laughs> yes. in winning ball games as Kenneth Tuffin gets a much needed three pointer here for Phoenix. Yeah. Open for a moment, decides to back off Janisho. Gets Tuffin free, Tuffin for three. Yes. Slowly but surely. Wide open as Janisho sidestep three right in the face of Tuffin. And that will be a shot clock violation in Phoenix. Has the emphasis here for Cochita Victorero as Perkins swings it around and open look for Maganti in the corner. Well, they need a lot of those outside. Maganti with a nice side dribble. Paul Lee in his bag, but that time goes straight to dump it. Pushing the pace here, RG Azul. Cut to number three. Start things out. He will really want to take that shot early on. And of course, if you have RG Azul on the floor, you have to know that RG Azul is always going to shoot a three pointer. Norman, uh, you know, all the sharing and all the learnings really came and, you know, that's why Coach Jamaica is really doing a great job. Puffin gets another three to fall. It feels like it's little interaction. Finding a way to keep the dribble alive and gets the jumper to fall. What about Kenneth Puffin in this game? So that time around, two misses from beyond the arc. Here comes Williams. Tuffin for three. They needed there that. Is. Yeah. It's Baroka dominating the first quarter, hitting another three, his second three. He has 10 of Magnolia's 15 points. Double digits for him. Ooh, that was 99% down for Paul Lee. That could have been a travel right there. Hazul will try again. And that's there the is. captain not giving up resiliency for Phoenix. Your opponents have uh, put in a good uh, amount of investment, right? Hard to counter. Meantime, Williams scoring inside the paint.